YouTube, y'all know what it is, y'all know who it is, it's your boy, Texas Man, taking in the game, music motivation. I'm going to talk about the best kind of shoe protectors you can have. I don't have the force fields, I've never owned them, I've never used them, I don't even know anyone who uses them in their shoes. Even though I heard good reviews on them, I've never used them, so I can't speak on those. What I am going to speak on is, should you use the paper, the rolled up paper that comes in the shoes, put stuff them in there. Should you use HEB bags? Should you use these little styrofoam things that come in the Jordans? One of these, it comes from Ikea. This is a type from the container store. These ones from the container store, it's supposed to go from sizes one to size 13. The good thing about these is they actually have an adjustable, adjustable feature right here to where you can move them. You can move them closer if you have a smaller foot or a smaller shoe or a wider shoe. These things are actually real good. I didn't buy too many of these because they're like, I think they're like four or five dollars for one set. A set is two, your left and your right shoe. That's pricey, man. You got 30 pairs of shoes and you gotta buy all those, man. You're gonna spend some money. And then you got these ones that I just recently got these right here at IKEA. This is a single one. But they come in pairs. And guess how much these are? You can't buy them online on IKEA.com. Let me put it to you like that. You can buy them online, but not on Ikea. But these are made by the Ikea store. This is one of their products. They cost 99 cents for a pair, which is left and right. You can't beat 99 cents. But the thing is, are they any good? My thing is, it depends on your shoe that you're using. This is straight honesty, man. I have them in these Air Force One low tops right here. I have one in there, as you can see. Let me move it closer. See how it sits? It sits in there pretty snug, actually. Your, um, your toe box is pretty hard, which is the way you want it to be, because if you crease easy, you know how it is. It looks ugly with that, with that crease in there, but I got one in there right now, and it looks good, but this is a size thir this is a size 12, not even a 13, because I wear 13 in some shoes, but that's how it looks on the heel. It's all the way to the max, and you can't adjust these. These don't have no adjustable feature. I guess you could call it adjusted if, like, if you bend them. But if you wear if you wear anything over a size 12, like I mean I have them I don't even think I have them any. Yeah, these are I have these are 13s right here, these LeBrons, but I don't have these in there. They don't fit real good once you get over a big size. So I'm gonna tell you if you from my experience, a size 12 on down, anything underneath a 12, these things will fit good. They should fit good. Uh the downside is them in these is there's not as much there's not as much width in there. You see how that width is with the factory Jordan ones versus this? The more width you have, the harder it's going to keep the whole shoe. So that's the downside of them. So you know, the Jordan ones come with them. So you know that fits perfect. And you ain't got to go, and the Jordan ones don't have to go in the Jordan shoes. You can put them in another shoe if you want to. But I traditionally like to stay with my with my Jordan, uh, what the hell are these called? Shoe, I don't know you want to call them, um, shoe trees. I usually keep my Jordan shoe trees in the Jordan shoes. Now you want to see what it looks like with this one right here in the Jordan here, I'm going to show you. It's hard to get in there. So you got to bend it up and then you put it down right there. It's in there and it's covering, but look, it's not bad for one for 99 cents, one dollar. It's soft on the size though. And this is a this one right here is a 12. See, so if you wear a 13, which like I say, which I do in some other shoes, it's gonna cover even less spot on less space on a toe box. It's not bad, I'm telling you. If you lose if you lose the factory Jordan ones, then the IKEA ones are worth it. But this is a size 12, and the uh, and it's extended all the way out. I don't know if you can see that. It's extended all the way. So there's no, it's getting a full toe box all the way to the toe, but the width isn't that good. So like I said, with the Jordan shoes, I I would tell you to stay with the factory Jordan shoe tree. This is a Nike, of course. So you see how that Nike looks? This is another Nike. This is a 13 in the bronze. And this is the one from Ikea. I'm sorry, this is not from Ikea. This is the one from um, the container store. And it's adjustable. But look at the look at the width in this. This is four ninety nine. Like I said, it's like four or five dollars for one. The width is better. 
Not by much, but it is better. The, the Ikea one curves down down here, so it's it's losing out. It loses out in width right here. See how that one is? Almost, but no cigar. You know what they say, you get what you pay for. When I had this one in this LeBron shoe right here, this thing is all the way in there, and it is snug in the tub in the toe box. Snug, baby. Let me try the other one in there. I ain't even tried it. And like I said, the thing I like about this one is you can adjust it. And this is a size 13, so if you got something smaller than a 13, the container storms will work good for you because, like I said, you can adjust it. Let's see how this one works in there. I have it in there. First time seeing it. Nice and crisp on the toe box, but when you get to the pinky toe area, soft is cotton. See? That's the thing I don't like. That's the only bad thing. Now, if you don't have anything in your shoes, and using that rolled up paper, you know, the the, um, the wrapping paper stuff, that's not bad, but if you want to keep your shoes professional, and you don't want to get silver fish and all that stuff, man, you got to step it up to the next game. Especially if you're a sneakerhead. I'm going to tell you, for this size 13, if you have a wide shoe, don't use the Ikea ones. You ain't gonna, you ain't gonna be happy with the results. There's no point in spending the money and having all this space over here, potential room for you still to have a crease if you're wearing the hell out of them if you're playing ball them. Now for the second round right here, we got my wife's Space Jam. I forgot what size this is. I think this is a five. And... This is a six Y. This is her Space Jam. So I'm gonna give you a different look so you can see. I took out the cardboard. I don't know what the heck I did with it. Here it is. This is her factory cardboard from the Jordan. I just went ahead and adjusted this shoe tree right here to fit the Space Jam, well, to fit it on the smallest level because you can adjust it. it. Has the holes on it, you see? That's on the smallest level. Sitting there, and it's crazy snug. And look at that, Space Jam's hard as can be right there. That's what you want. You want that crisp. Hardness in the toe box. I actually like somebody's toes is in there, but it's not. You know how your toes bend down like that when you walk? It won't bend with this in there. Of course, the shoe's not going to bend while it's in the shoe box or in the container box. But that's what you want. You want it to. That way your leather don't get all so soggy and saggy based on the weather. If it's hot or it's cold. You know how metal and stuff changes. The form changes with the, with the degrees and the weather. The density of it, that's the same with the shoe. So you want this stuff to be real hard in the toe box. So that way we haven't worn them in a while, because if you have a lot of shoes like me or some of y'all other stupid heads watching, your shoes don't they don't get bad, they keep the same shape because you know the glue messes up. But man, this shows you right here the diversity of this this uh container store shoe tree. It's in there and man, it's it's fitting beautifully. I'm actually gonna have to get a set for her shoes. I've never worn my, my Space Jams yet, but she wore hers twice. But man, it's so snug, you can barely pull it out. But there it is. Ain't no feel magic. Just straight right there. This is a perfect five, the, the container store one. And then I used the Ikea one, and this is a, a boost shoe, so y'all can see. I know a lot of y'all wear boost nowadays. I don't have too many Adidas, but this is a size 13. This is my other shoe, another one of my other shoes. And I got the, the Ikea one in there. You see it? It looks nice and pretty right there, and it's, you can't really adjust it, like I said, but look how ugly, the shoe's a pretty shoe, but look how ugly this looks in here. The toe boxes, look at all this space. You don't want all this space, this is not doing any purpose in this shoe right here. All that's, all that's still soft. So you have the potential of getting a wrinkled shoe or having your glue come off because the shoe's hanging in there like that, like an old man. It looks like you've been in a, in a swimming pool too long and you got all wrinkled. That's how the shoe looks. I bought a whole bunch of these ones at Ikea, but if you wear a big size foot, if you got a big size foot, man, do yourself a favor. Unless, this is the only shoe I'll say wear this in, in the Air Force One low top. That's the only shoe that I have that I like these in. I don't like these, oh, I'm sorry, there's one more shoe. A Jordan, a Jordan 1 Low. This is a size 12, not a 13. It works good in a Jordan 1 Low 
and an Air Force One low, the IQ ones. In my honest opinion, I wouldn't buy these IQ ones for any other shoe. If you wear a size 13, if you wear a size 12, that's the only two shoes I keep these in. If you wear a size 13, I wouldn't even buy these. You spend your money on something more worth it. Anything else? If you have a small foot, these are gonna help you get because it doesn't have so much stuff to cover, and you can't you can't adjust these. So you can, but you can't. You just have to shove them in there and let them bend like that till they fit in the shoe. It will help you out good then because then they don't have so much area to cover. But like I said, if you wear a size 13, me personally, I wouldn't buy these at all. Size 12, only in the Air Force One low, in the Jordan One low. Why I wear these in? I wouldn't even put these. They might work in some some trainer shoes. The last shoe I'm gonna try it out in is an Under Armour container store one right here. Shoe tree, and it's in there. It's got a little play. I won't really lock in there. Maybe I can tighten it. Let me see. Like I said, I don't have that many of these container store ones. Cause for five dollars a pop, and you don't know if they work. You just going off of reviews. Oh man, that's solid right there. I had it at the wrong setting. <laughs> Perfect five, baby. Solid. These are the best ones I use. I'm not knocking. Like I said, I'm not knocking the other brands, Rejuvenator, and some of them other brands I probably never even heard of. But I'm just telling you the ones that I have. And let's try the IKEA one. And the same on the armor. You gotta bend it right here. Let's see. It's got a snug fit. It's good, but look. It's loose on the sides, but it's good right here. If you're gonna use them for, I say, straight regular running shoes like these, and you're gonna tear them up anyways, I guess it'd be safe to say they'll work all right on them. Maybe like a two, three, three stars. But if you got shoes, dead stock shoes and stuff like that, you don't want to use. I wouldn't buy these, like I said, unless unless it's a size 12 and under. So to recap this video, let me move my wife's jam out the way before I drop it in the Under Armour. Your first choice is gonna be the Container Store shoe tree. This is my number one right here from the ones that I own. This is the number one thing to put in your shoe to keep it from getting creased up when you're not wearing it. Number two is your Jordan shoe trees, your factory ones. If those get torn up and you and you can make it to IKEA, then go get you some of these dollar ninety nine. Remember, for size twelve and under only. If you wear bigger than that, do not get these. I wouldn't use them. I wouldn't recommend it. If you can't get to IKEA and you have a small, a smaller foot under size twelve, and you don't have enough of these things to put in your other shoes, you can use trash bags. Roll them all up, put them in there, or you can use socks. If you got long socks, roll them up, ball them up, make them into the ball, and put them in there. Temporary, man. You don't gotta buy everything at once. You got 30 pairs of shoes, go in there and buy two at a time. Until you have enough to have all your shoes have a shoe tray in them. This concludes my video. I thank y'all for watching. Let me know if y'all got any comments or concerns, man. Hopefully I'll get back and answer to y'all and, uh, and answer them for y'all. I really thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to like if you will, subscribe if you trill. Watch my other videos, boy. We about this thing. Yeah.